Do you utilize Asana and want to integrate it with your job form workflow process? Well, let me show you how. Hey, JetFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize Asana, you can now integrate it with JotForm workflows. So in the top left-hand corner, we're currently in my forms. I'm gonna jump over into my workflows. Then top left-hand corner, again, we're gonna do create workflow. And for this example, I'm gonna do a one-step approval. And you can see it gave us a very basic one-step approval process. Up at the top, we can see we have a starting point, which is going to be a form. Let's go ahead and complete this setting by choosing a form. And from here, if we don't see one that we're wanting to use, we can always create a new one. We'll go ahead and start from scratch on the classic form. And on the left-hand side, I'm just gonna bring in some basics. We'll do name, email, and phone number. Perfect, I'm gonna jump back over. And we can see that that form is now in our starting point. Next up, once someone completes that form, it's gonna go through the approval process. Here we can see we have either approve or deny. We have our approvers and we also have our completion rules. We can either require a response from the majority, from all, from one person, or a certain number of responses. I'm gonna go ahead and put this as one person for now. And then we can see if it's approved or denied, they're going to receive an email. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the end down and I'm gonna delete the link between the approval and the end because over here on the left hand side we're going to head to integrations and we're going to go to asana and we can choose whether we want to create a task a section a project or a task comment so for this example i'm going to go ahead and create a task we'll drag this right back up here and from here we can go ahead and put those arrows right back in and let's complete our settings now, if this is your first time integrating with Asana, you'll want to verify your account. I'm gonna go ahead and add an action now. And from here, we need to decide where we want that task to go. So up at the top, we're gonna to select a workspace. I'm gonna choose jotform.com for me. And then I'm gonna look for a team. I'm gonna go ahead and do our support team. And we'll choose a project and we'll do test projects. Next, we're going to want to match our field. So we have our task name. And for this, let's go ahead and make this be the form title. And if you want to continue adding fields, you can absolutely do that. And if in your form, if you're wanting them to provide an upload, you can have that upload added here. And I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck this to create a new record when each submission is edited. So let's go ahead and save. Perfect. And because we chose the name of the form to be the task, I'm actually going to come back up here and let's edit our form. Let's change that title. Let's just call this new team member. All right, we can head on back. Now let's head to publish and open a new tab and we can get this filled out and tested. We'll do Sabrina and we can submit. And I'm gonna head back over to JotForm and we're currently in our workflow builder, but I'm gonna jump over into our inbox to get to where we can approve or deny. Now, if I'm away from my computer, JotForm is going to send me an email to let me know that I have something that needs my attention. So we can see here, Sabrina is in progress. I'm gonna go ahead and approve her request. And we can see we have some integrations running. Now, if we want, we can head over to Asana and find where this was created, or we can simply click on the link at the bottom right here, and that'll take us straight to that task. And here it is. It really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate Asana with JotForm Workflows, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.